Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. We have been anxiously awaiting the arrival of this trailer behind me today. Um, we ordered this trailer in uh, over the summertime and it sold very, very quickly. I mean, I believe the trailer was only here a couple weeks. So we reordered the trailer and we just are really happy with the setup and the way the trailer turned out. So I'm really excited to show you this. This is a 2021 Cimarron four horse gooseneck, uh, but we've gone in and we've done some really cool things to this trailer. If you're looking for uh, more of a using four horse, but you want some of those extras, uh, this is a really, really nice setup. It's not just your very basic four horse. We've done a lot of nice options to this trailer and I'll be happy to walk you through them and, and show you how we put this trailer together. So one of the very first things is, is, is I'll give you the dimensions on this trailer. So this is 24 foot on the floor. It is seven four tall and it's seven six wide. So we have a little bit of extra width and height. So if you are somebody that does have maybe some bigger horses, um, we've kind of set this trailer up for that. And I'll show you a couple things when we get to the stallery as well. Uh, but one of the very first things is if we look under, under the gooseneck here, we went ahead, we put a, a single leg electric over hydraulic jack. And what's really cool about this is, is man, it's really, really responsive. I mean, you just turn the key on and I mean up and down this thing goes. So, you know, no cranking. Uh, it's really, really responsive. Like I said, up, down it goes. It's really simple to use. If, if somebody's backing up underneath this and they get to a spot, I mean, it's literally, they, they, you don't even have to put it in park. You know, you always have to worry about that truck rocking one way or the other, depending on um, if, if you do have help, it is nice from that standpoint. You can sit there with your foot on the brake they can hit that button. Um, for some families that are traveling with young kids, I mean, hand cranking that as mom and dad are backing underneath this trailer. Uh, it's really simple for the kid to just reach up there and hit that button and just drop it on the truck and throw it in park and finish hooking up. The other cool thing about this system is there is a manual override on this. Uh, we don't do just the, the, the single leg hydraulic to where there is no manual override. If you do get in an emergency situation or the battery is dead, uh, you know, you can actually take this little pipe right here and I can manually crank this trailer up and down uh, so we don't get in a situation where we are completely, completely stuck. Uh, the other thing is, is we put a uh, battery box on here. So you do have a battery on this trailer, but also you have a battery disconnect as well. So when we kind of go back to talking about that, that jack itself, what happens is a lot of times on those is there's not a battery disconnect. So some, for some reason, somebody accidentally leaves a light on on this trailer and you go away from it and you come back, you leave it for a couple days at a show or at the house or something, uh, the battery will be dead and then you get into that situation where you need to run that manual override. But that battery disconnect is really nice. When you go to unhook and walk away from this trailer, that's the last thing you do is just reach up there and turn that disconnect off. And if you happen to accidentally bump a manger light or leave a tack light on or a stall light on, it, we're not gonna drain the battery. So that's something we do on these with this uh, hydraulic jack system. Another thing that we do is we've, we've talked about it in some previous videos, but all these new trucks continue to get taller and taller. I mean, bed height is incredibly, uh, over the years has gone incredibly up in, in ground clearance. Well, what it's doing is it's causing us to have issues with bed clearance between the trailer and the truck bed, or we're having to actually tip the trailer back on the back axle. And it's putting a lot of weight on that and a lot more stress on that back axle um, to where we've actually gone in. The industry standard is 50 inches. So from this point, and it's actually up about six inches here uh, to where that, that beam is, but it's, it's standard is 50 inches. But what we've done is, is we've gone in on these using Cimarron's is, we've gone in and made all of them a 53 inch gooseneck drop. The reason why is you can pull in here with a brand new Ford, a brand new Dodge, brand new GM with the taller beds. We can get this trailer running level and we can get you plenty of bed clearance. On these type of trailers here, we strive for about, you know, seven, eight inches of bed clearance. It's very easy to do with that 53 inch gooseneck drop wall. Now let's jump into what kind of makes this trailer really, really unique and what we really like about it. 
So what we've done is, is we've gone in and we've put dual tack doors on this trailer. So we have a access from driver's side and then one over here on passenger side. You know, we've put a nice big 42 inch door at each side to allow for these swing out saddle racks. We're not hitting saddles as we come out with these door frames. And as you can see, even right there, with this swung out, if you have saddles on here, you can walk through here. A lot of trailers, they just kind of do the minimum. You're hitting, again, you're hitting those uh, uh, door jams with your, your tack when you go ahead and swing it out. But then also you can't get into the trailer. But on these setups here, you know, with these 42 inch doors, man, it's really easy getting in and out of this trailer. On each one of these, we put a three tier saddle rack these are adjustable you can add more if you want you can remove them you can do about anything you want to them so it's really really easy to use and swings in and then on those 42 inch doors on each one of them we put a fold up step so it's really easy getting in and out of this trailer so as you come in here i mean you can see there's just a, there's a lot of room in in this setup uh, we wanted to make sure it was comfortable Everything wasn't squeezed really tight. I mean, even, even when our, our swing out saddle racks are in, you can see there's a lot of room to maneuver around here. So you can take a lot of extra stuff if you'd like. So here's that second tier, or, uh, the second three tier saddle rack that swings out. We carpeted the entire partition wall for you. So n you have nothing rubbing against that uh, aluminum when you're hanging any, anything up there. We put three rows of bridle hooks or uh, excuse me two rows of bridle hooks one high one low for you um, again just r a real good setup where you can take a lot of stuff with you and then up here in the nose uh, with this being seven six wide it's it's definitely wider you can get a bigger mattress up here if you'd like you've got some windows for a cross breeze we've gone in and at least framed it for an ac so that part of it's done if you want an added AC unit, we can add a 30 amp breaker package to this trailer, but that part of it's already done. That actually adds quite a bit of labor um, because it's done after the fact. So it's just simpler for us to just add that little option on uh, at the factory. Put a boot box over here closer to passenger side, just to kind of keep some little miscellaneous stuff. And then also it's really handy to, if you are hopping in and out of the nose here. And above that, we've got a shelf with a clothes rod. I mean, we understand that if you're showing or, or traveling and you might want to take a change of clothes or something like that, it's a good, good thing to take with you. There's also a lip on here, so it's going to hold items in that shelf itself. And I want to point out behind this saddle rack, we've actually got the hardware for a corner water tank. Um, some suppliers have been a little bit behind here recently, so uh, we will be getting a corner water tank that we'll go ahead and put in there. It'll be a 25 gallon uh, gravity fill water tank. So that will be added to this trailer. On each door, we put a four tier blanket pole rack that's on a gas shock and swings out, so it's really easy getting things on and off of here. And then a brush tray on each door as well. So we've kind of, as far as the tack setup, we've kind of mirrored them on each side of this trailer about the swing outs and then what's on the door itself. And with this trailer, I mean, we want you to have plenty of lights. So we put your load lights above each tack door, and then there's an additional one kind of more towards the back, a little bit over the wheel wells there. Um, so if you are saddling, unsaddling at nighttime, you know, it's really handy to have a lot of lights on here. And then we even upgraded to the LED button lights. It's a little bit cleaner look to them. They are small, but boy, they do put out a lot of light. I mean, they're, it's really, really a sharp look to them. With this trailer being 7.6 wide, you do have a little bit of a running board on each side of the trailer. But I always like to mention too that on these on these wheel wells, these are bolt-on. So if something does happen, you know, you're not having as much labor cost on replacing that fender itself uh, by cutting a welded off of the trailer that's damaged and then re-welding a new one on. And as we're right here, these are two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. We have upgraded these to a 14 ply tire. 
who just feel like there's no reason to skimp on tires. This is a really nice trailer. It's a little bit wider, a little bit taller. Again, we can carry a lot more stuff to it. So we felt like going to a 14 ply is just a better option for you. The other cool thing that Cimarron does is the vendor they use for their wheels and tires is, is Lion's Head. And Lion's Head really stands behind their product. You have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires right here. So we could catch a nail or a screw if for some reason there was a blowout or you catch some road debris going down the road that causes damage to a tire, all you have to do is take some pictures of the codes on these, send it in the lion's head, and they send you a brand new tire within a couple days. So they really stand behind the product. Um, these are nitrogen filled, they're balanced. So the nitrogen filled, uh, make sure that we're not having drastic increases or decreases in PSI level that is gonna cause some of those blowouts. You can put air to these if you need. Um, but then you can go buy a tire shop that a lot of tire shops that are doing the nitrogen filled. That's what that green tab on those tires means. Um, but it's just, it, again, they stand behind the product. And again, good quality tires to start with. And um, then you get kind of some extra little bonuses there uh, by having Lion's Head put these tires on a Cimarron trailer. We kind of talked a little bit about warranty on the tires itself. You have an eight-year structure warranty on this Cimarron, and then you have a three-year hardware warranty on this Cimarron. So they, again, they really stand behind the product out there. As we get to the back here, we did put mangers on this trailer, so we'll just kind of give you a good snapshot of the back here. One big door, so it's got a lot of access here. I mean, just a nice wide opening, very inviting for horses getting on and off. Uh, for some of you that maybe are a fan of a rear ramp and your horses like a rear ramp and you want to do that, very simple. Our parts department can do that. We remove the rubber bumper. It attaches to the back of the trailer and actually folds up over the rear door. So that can be done. Here's another one of those load lights. This is an eight inch at the back here. Uh, but again, we try to give you a lot of light coverage throughout this trailer. So we get into the stall area here, you have these nice solid dividers. We put pads on them. Uh, the cool thing is, is, is the springs on these. Cimarron tries to make it very, you know, user friendly. If you're by yourself loading horses, you, know, you get a horse uh, lead rope in one hand, you can walk up here, you can open up this divider with one hand, but then the springs I use, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna have to, uh, to uh, hold this divider open. That spring is naturally gonna pull it to the driver's side of the trailer. Uh, so it's really easy to use. And it's on all three of these. And this front one here is a stud divider as well. So with it going clear to the ground, you know, you can add, you know, throw some hay or some shavings or any middle miscellaneous items up in that front stall as well. And not having to worry about things getting underneath horses in transit. So again, we've kind of talked about just kind of how it's equipped. Um, let's kind of talk about how this trailer's made. So this is all aluminum construction, uh, but as far as all aluminum constructed trailers out there, we will put a Cimarron up against anybody. Uh, what we're doing is we're, we kind of start from the ground and work our way up. So from the flooring, this is the industry's best floor. It's a 12 inch deck board. It interlocks, it's double tongue and groove. Uh, it's welded four times across this trailer, and then it's actually solid welded down uh, as it drops into the bottom rail of this trailer. But the centers on this trailer are every four inches apart, and there's actually a truss in the middle of each one of those deck boards. Anywhere a horse is standing on this trailer right here, they're standing on a support beam. Um, so I always tell everybody the quickest and easiest way to see how well a trailer is constructed, crawl underneath and look at the bottom. If you see those centers and they're farther apart, it's not as high quality of a trailer uh, because what we're doing is we're spreading those centers or those support beams out. Well, what happens is then you have a horse standing in the middle, which can cause those, those pits or waves in a, in a trailer floor, um, you know, as they're being used or get a little bit of age on them. So we start off with the industry's best flooring there. The upright post, this is a horse trailer. It's really good to, to show you a stock trailer because you know it's, it's a little bit more exposed, but the upright posts are almost a square. Uh, it's the same amount of aluminum. 
in this rectangular piece that's on a roof bow. A lot of competitors use this as their upright post or a C channel or a hat channel uh, type upright post. But the one that Cimarron uses for their uprights is more of a square. If I take this in a 20 foot stick and I go to wobble it, it'll wobble like a noodle all the way down. The upright post that Cimarron uses is not square, it's more like a pencil, it's one fluid motion. So heavy, heavy duty upright posts. So again, solid floor, best in the industry, big heavy duty upright posts. And then they top it off with that insulated roof that is standard on every single Cimarron. So it's a half inch thick honeycomb design, R3 thermal level. It will take substantial hail. I can walk on these roofs that won't dent them. So there again, kind of like we talked about on those, on those wheel wells, those fenders out there replacing them. Not as much labor cost if we are having to fix it. You know, you get in a, uh, in a bad hailstorm and it ruins a roof, you have to go through insurance and, and then it also devalues your trailer when we go ahead and look at it from a trade-in standpoint. Um, but so you have the strength of this floor or uh, this ceiling, but then there's also another benefit and the biggest benefits for your horses in our opinion, first and foremost, it actually keeps a stallery about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof on a real hot summer day. Uh, it's a big difference when you come to the lot here, 95 degrees, we're not even going to get anywhere close to that today. It's a little cooler, not sure if you can see, see if you can see my breath or not. But on those real hot days out here on that asphalt, I like to take customers to a Cimarron that's a horse trailer like this that's all closed up. And I'll take them to a competitor's that has an aluminum sheeted roof. And I can tell you when they step foot in this, they can immediately feel a temperature difference, you know, in these trailers because of that insulated roof. So we're keeping our, our horses more comfortable, more cool. Uh, that is the most important thing is this is a horse trailer. So we have to worry about them first and foremost. So that's a nice feature that Cimarron does as well. And then on their doors, these are big heavy duty frame doors. Every single one of these from this point to this point, that is solid framework right there. Welded hinges with grease certs. We can actually take a three horse and Cimarron's done this. They've taken a three horse using trailer like this. They put a floor jack underneath a rear door and pick the trailer up and it did not tweak those hinges or that door at all. That's how stout they are. Those are items that you're gonna use every single time you use this trailer, opening and closing. So we need that quality, we need that strength there. Again, that is gonna hold up for you. One thing I, I forgot to mention in there in that stall area is, is those are 42 inch wide stalls. So again, we've got extra height, extra width on this trailer, but we actually went in and made those stalls a little bit wider. If you do have those bigger bodied horses, taller horses, maybe need a little bit more length, we've gone in and done that. Usually standard's 39, um, but we've gone in and made that 42. So a wider stall for sure in, in that stall area. With that one single rear door there, one of the other things that we were able to do for you is, is get you a broom closet. So again, I talked about it at the beginning about how this trailer has a lot of extras. If you're looking for that four horse with more things, you want to take a lot of stuff with you, this is a really nice setup. Uh, we moved those, those hooks up higher, we carpeted it. If you do want to haul some additional stuff that you're not wanting to rub on that, that's a great place for maybe a fork or a shovel or something. You can hang it up on those. You know, again, just just another little place for you to carry a lot of things with you. And we understand that when you are traveling and traveling maybe for a good amount of time, you wanna have a lot of items with you. So that's why we went in and did what we did to this trailer. So as you can see here, we gave you three mangers as well. These are 18 inch deep mangers. Um, you have three access doors, a little bit bigger one ahead of the wheel wells there. But again, just just again we can take a lot of things with us great place for feed uh, some buckets you know maybe some tire changing equipment in that first stall there you know some people like to take chairs i mean anything and everything we can kind of do to this trailer itself so nice heavy duty doors as well heavy duty frame like we talked about welded hinges on these as well We talked about it on that rear door, the framework, but here's the framework on one of these drop windows. Again, this is solid. You know, it's not a prefab window that's gonna drop in my hand and I can wobble it. 
people think about if that thing wobbles and you tie a horse here and he hits it right, it's gonna break. Well, guess what? More money to replace that. These guys are big and stout. I mean, I can shake this entire trailer and it will not tweak these doors at all. Again, those are items we're gonna use every single time, you know, we use this trailer. There is LED lights in these mangers. Like I talked about um, when we were talking about the, uh, that battery disconnect up there, you know, these lights sometimes can get bumped. So these are individually switched here and you actually have to hit the light itself. So I've actually had customers call me and say, Man, CJ, I'm at this show. Something happened, battery's dead. How do I get it on the truck? Because I've got one of those hydraulic jacks. You can do that manual override. Sometimes it's as simple as back up to the, the trailer itself, plug it in with the truck, run in for about five minutes. Gives you enough juice to get it down on the truck and then the truck will work as a trickle charger as you're going down the road. So it will recharge that. And, and they just go, I don't know why it's dead. I have no idea and I say, Hey, you know what, just go check all your tack lights, check your interior lights, your load lights, but don't forget your manger lights. And sometimes they'll say, oh, yep, sure enough, there's one on, must have bumped it when I was pulling the buckets out that one day. So, so that's something there. Um, but again, just nice solid doors. Again, a lot of storage to these trailers. Here's that escape door on that first stall. Like I was talking about, if you want to go ahead and you know, use that as maybe some extra storage for you. Maybe loading hay or maybe it's a cooler, maybe it's some shavings, maybe it's miscellaneous items. You know, you can go ahead and put it in that first stall as well. If you wanted to add a hay rack to this trailer, we could do that as well. Our parts department and service department can go ahead and get that done for you. So there's a lot of things we can do to these trailers after the fact. We really like to equip them well for you uh, just because we understand how you're gonna use them. Um, but there are some things that we can do to them after, after the fact as well. And then here's a good shot of that other door on driver's side, again, kind of mirroring the other side of this trailer with, with the swing out saddle rack, that big 42 inch door, four tier blanket pulls, and then your brush tray on the door as well. So again, a really, really well-equipped four-horse. This is not your standard four-horse by any means. Um, we're really happy with this trailer. We've actually gone in and we've actually ordered a stock combo set up like this as well, uh, just because of how well this has been received and how well it just turned out. I mean, we feel like if you come and look at this trailer, uh, you're gonna be very happy with the way it's set up. So what I want to do is I want to give you the stock number. So if you are interested in this trailer, you've got a reference number for us. And that stock number is 5N201008. It's a 2021 Cimarron 4 Horse North Star. Again, not your standard. This has got a lot of cool extras on it. But we feel like if you're looking for something like that, this trailer is going to fit the bill. So give us a call. We'll be happy to visit about this trailer, anything else we have available, anything else we have on order, and helping you out maybe build a custom trailer as well. So give us a shout. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.